Hi guys. So, um, so far in our telling time videos, we have worked through telling time to the hour and to the half hour. So this time I want to work on telling time to the quarter after and quarter before. So, uh, remember in previous videos where we kind of took apart our clock and showed how the half hour was midway through? Well, a quarter of the way from 12 down here is going to be our 3, which will be 15 minutes into an hour. And then we would have the half hour and that's a quarter. And then the quarter before is going to be our 9, which will be 45 minutes into the hour. So we're going to work on the quarter after and quarter before today. So. With that, you guys, our, our hand again is not always going to be on our hour. That's okay. So I have our three part cards again, and you guys will get a copy of these um, later this week, depending on where you are in your time work. Once again, um, definitely want you to master one area before you move to the next, because um, that can get a little bit confusing otherwise. And we'll be checking in with you each week to kind of see where you're at on that. Um, so I have the same three part cards that I did before. One has the clock on it. One has on my control that gives me my answer. And the other has my, oopsies, my digital time. So I'm actually going to start with the quarter after. So if someone says it is a quarter after one o'clock, what they mean is that our hand is on one, and it's not really moved much because we're not very far into the hour. We're only a quarter after. So the hour hand is on one. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it there. But then that my minute hand, mm -hmm. that my minute hand here, if it will stay, is on my three. So my hour is one, and if it's a quarter after one, it is one fifteen because my minute hand is on the three. So, that would look, from my control cards, like this, 115. Now, you guys, um, I already showed you how to go through making these seeds. I'm not going to demo them again here. Um, I just wanted to show you that we have them available and which ones are which. So, quarter after is all the times that end in 15, and quarter before is all the times that end in 45. Um, so... I would go through them the same way I would my time cards for the half hour. And then if I wanted to have a time that was, let's see, I already did a one, 3.45. That's kind of tricky. If someone said it was a quarter till four or a quarter before four, that means that my hour actually is not yet four because it's before four. So my hour is still three. So my minute hand's going to be pretty close to my and then do you remember when we said our minute hand was for a quarter before? Oh, it's a nine. It's a quarter before four. My hour hand is almost to the four. I know it's not. My hour hand is almost to the four here. And my minute hand, well, is on the nine for a quarter before four. Because, again, if we break up our clock into four sections, 12 to three is one section. 3 to 6 is the second section, 6 to 9 is the third. And then so the last quarter of our hour that is before 4 is that 9 to 12 section. Because we can break it into quarters. So it's a quarter till 4 if my hour hand is almost to the 4 and my minute hand is on the 9 or 45 minutes into the hour. And I can check that if I've got my control out if that's what the time was with my card for a quarter before. Um, so I'll be checking with you guys for your individual meetings this week to see how your time work is going. Once you get past this point, we're going to move to the five minute increment mark and then we're going to kind of just give you some random times to tell the time of. And then we'll keep on looking at some different ways that you can tell time even past analog and digital clocks and military time, which is pretty cool once you learn how it works. 
right, guys. Well, happy time to...